Hi, I'm Senior Hurricane Specialist John Cangelosi from the National Hurricane Center. A lot of people have seen track forecasts from NHC like this, and model forecasts like these, with the American GFS model and the European ECMWF model being the most well known. But do you know how accurate these predictions are and how best to use them? Let's get into some of the details. Let's start with the accuracy of the National Hurricane Center track predictions. NHC began producing forecasts extending out to day three in the 1960s, and the average three-day track error in that decade was quite large, nearly 500 miles. As each decade passed, the average errors dropped, especially beginning in the 1990s. In the early 2000s, NHC expanded the forecast out to day five, and the track predictions have continued to improve since that time. This is certainly a significant success that was aided by advancements in technology and science. It might be easier to see the progress in a specific case. Let's imagine that it's 1990, and the National Hurricane Center has issued a three-day forecast that shows a landfall near Tampa, Florida. The outer circle depicts the average error for that year, which covers basically all of Florida and portions of Georgia and Alabama. However, if the same forecast was issued today, the average error looks like the inner circle. Hopefully it is clear to see how much more accurate hurricane track forecasts are today compared to decades ago. Although the forecasts have been getting better, they are far from perfect. Here are the five year average track errors in the Atlantic Basin. The errors generally increase by about 40 miles for each day of the forecast and end up near 200 miles by day five. To understand what this looks like, check out this figure that shows these errors mapped around Charleston, South Carolina. So if your area is in or near the cone at day five, it's best to keep a close eye on NHC forecasts for future updates, as confidence generally increases as the storm nears. How about the models? They have become widely available over the years, and some people may look at them to help make decisions about whether or not the storm is going to affect them. This figure shows the track performance of NHC, GFS, ECMWF, and the United Kingdom Global Model UKMET from 2021 to 2023. It can be seen that on the whole, NHC beats all of these models. To go one step further, take a look at this diagram. It compares the track errors and how consistent the forecasts are at day four. It can be seen that the NHC forecasts have lower error and are more consistent than the models. In short, NHC forecasts have proven to be an accurate and stable prediction compared to all of the individual models. Now that you have a sense of how accurate the NHC track forecasts are, please remember that these are averages and each case is different. The best advice we can give you is to monitor forecasts from the National Hurricane Center and follow advice from local officials rather than comparing the current event with previous storms or experiences or by solely relying on particular weather models. For hurricane forecast information, please follow us on Facebook and X and visit hurricanes.gov. Thanks for watching.